Well, uh, you know, it's, we know that's a big win. Uh, Wake Forest is really going to be a lot of respect for Georgia Boston. I think how they do it, they do it the right way. They got some really good players. You know, I've watched them form those two receivers. I'm thinking, you know, they're good. And then watch them in person. I'm like, they're really good. You know, and the quarterback does a great job of getting the ball. Okay. So we can go tip our head off to those guys, and they just kept fighting, kept coming back to the game. You know, I'm really proud of our guys, man, to come in here and you know, we had a lot of momentum after the DC win last week, and then we knew this was going to be a tough challenge. They had a week off, and you know, a lot of things they could do to work on us. And so, you know, but our guys made a lot of plays, particularly special teams early in the game, man. That was awesome. We wanted to get special team wise. We had a couple of people to the side of the hall, two two in the punt return, which was huge. And if what, if really what won the game for was to get that on the we're able to maintain that pretty much the whole game until right there at the very end. We know how powerful their offense is. Anybody, you know, after six games, what the rule will be with the big four two, they'll play live touch. Um, you know, but, but we, we believe, our guys believe, and that's, that's kind of where we are. You know, now we're at mid point of the season. You know, and what, what teams are made of is how we finish seasons. So that's all we're talking about, how we're going to finish in this last half of the season. Evans, Evans a calm customer. He's just really even keeled, um, and, and he plays his heart out. Uh, you know, again, he's very cerebral, so he studies film like crazy. He's talented too. He got a good arm. He can run. He showed up with one one play there at the end if he wanted to get a touchdown. Um, he had a couple plays he'd love to have back. I mean, he'll learn from those when he you know, intercepts. And if he runs, he's going to get 30 or 40 yards. He can get those added in the 2 2 ball right there at the end. It could have been another touchdown. But it's you know, I love making corrections out of the field so we can come back and make these corrections. Is that your fifth final touchdown that they were towards on? That's something that that comes to uh, yeah, the Lambs and that was why was that the play right there? Well, you know, the very same play that we talked about championship last year against Louisiana Lafayette. Uh, it's just a play where you can hand the ball off and you throw it and you can run it. Really, it's a triple type play, triple lead play. And the way they played it, they covered it good. They had to go some wheels. They had to back to back to play. A big time play in the game. There were was, was many big plays. That was Offensively, we've been clicking pretty good. And you look at the last two weeks, we're really good. We've put a lot of points on the board. And we know we got to get better defensively at the things that we're doing out there. But you know, we played the last two offenses really, really good. We see it these guys right here. We got another one next week. Clemson's maybe better than any of them, you know. So um, it doesn't stop in this league. We know we know how what, how the fight has to be in this league. There's a lot of games coming down to the wire. Well, I think Mike's anxiety level is pretty high the whole second half, actually. Uh, well, you know what? We're on, I'm on the bottom of the pile. They were trying to get everybody up. I'm underneath. Tutu's got the ball. And he wasn't letting go. And they told me Louisville's ball. Louisville's ball. I said, and I saw him throw to Tutu. I said, Tutu, it's Louisville's ball. That's when he let go. I love it, man. I love the fight. You know, instead of epitomizing the whole team, that's, that's where we have to have that kind of fight. He's the smallest player on this field, 150 million pounds. And he's at the bottom of the pile fighting for the ball. He got it. He ultimately won the game for it. Yeah, yeah, our defense, early on I thought he did a great job. We got a couple, a couple, a couple of balls back and able to get that you know, turn on those leads right there. I think we got it. And, uh, and, and especially those two things were huge. Um, I don't know what the turnover margin was today. I mean, three, 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 two. All right, so we won that. That's two weeks in a row, man. And, and it takes it. If you lose that, you don't win this game, you don't win last week's game. So you have to win these turnover margins and tight ball games. We all know there's going to be a lot of tight ball games in the Well, I think we're doing a better job getting balls in the hands of the playmakers. You know, the fits, you know, the first half, I don't, I don't think he had a fit. You know, when he comes down to the second half, five gets over 100 yards and to do scores, you know, that's not, that's bad coaching. That's on us. we got to get him the ball. We know that. He's a dynamic player. Um, get two two with the ball. Um, you know, they contain our running backs better tonight than what we would have liked. But um, getting the ball to these playmakers, I think that's a big difference. What do you think about the fact that you might have seen a bird when they jumped down to take your Well, 
more importantly, it's helping our team. I think I think that's more important for us. But you know, anything to help the Mountaineers as well. You know, obviously, I love love that school. We love love all those guys, and uh, you know, they're having a great year. You know, a lot of most all those guys are playing with recruitment in there, and I'm so proud of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'll tell you, that, that guy did a great job kicking the ball, man. I mean, it was a really fabulous job to him. The first time we got it, the second time, two two goes up to get it. So we made a switch on the third one, and we put two tall up Dawkins, uh, PD, two tall guys right there. So we were able to get that one in that last one. I mean, they have four. That's so unbelievable. I mean, I've never seen four on this game. I mean, that's incredible. So, you know, we got all the ones, right? So, let's get them out. I'm going to all the night. Oh man, I, I don't know, this game was so long. Like, it, it seemed like it lasted forever because of the reviews. Um, and it was a lot of tight plays. You know, you look at turnovers, you look at first downs, close to first downs, all those things. Uh, you know, but I, you know what? I, I think it's the best because you're trying to make the best move for the kids. I mean, that's don't, that's don't have a bad call that costs somebody a ball. So I, I mean, I'm fine with it. I don't like that many reviews, but it's only good. Like, well, no, it's going to help with the outside to know that we can fight with people, anybody out there. You know, I think it also going to help with the crew. I think that's going to be right. I mean, the biggest thing, too, for us moving forward in our program is we want to do things right. We want to get the right players in here. And now they can see, hey, we've got a good product to put on the field. Come be a part of this. I think so. We're recruiting this going to be used. Yeah, yeah. He could have he could have come back, going back then, but not 100%. So that's why we stuck with him. And, uh, so hopefully he'll be fine and ready to go to practice this week. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see y'all. Thank y'all.